Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's been over a week <laughs> since I vlogged. The last vlog was right before the trip to the Hamptons with Tommy and Kel and all the gang and everyone. And I didn't actually vlog, I don't know, once I was out there, I kind of just like took a break. I find that in New York during the week, it's just very intense and like whenever I do go away at the weekend then it's nice just to kind of like put the camera away and I know this also sounds a bit crazy but it's also like probably nice for the people with me <laughs> like when I have the camera always like in my face and around the place and everything it's probably a little bit annoying especially at the weekend when people are chilling and on holiday and stuff it's fine during the week when I'm like this is my job this is what I have to do <laughs> um so yeah I didn't vlog but I had the best time both weekends the first weekend we stayed in a house and um, there were seven of us all together really really fun we stayed in East Hampton and then this weekend it was just Tommy and I that headed out we actually just headed out on Saturday morning to Montauk which is at the very end kind of of the island and um, really really nice there I got a hotel pretty last minute on the Hotel Tonight app which I am absolutely addicted to but honestly it is the best app for hotels like by a long shot and this is not sponsored I'm just such a big fan of the app um, so I found a hotel that I've been wanting to stay in I'd seen it online and on Instagram and stuff and you know the way you just never know if it's going to be as good as the pictures you kind of just think that it looks better online than it will in person but this hotel was better in person it was so nice it was called hero beach club um it was still kind of pricey to be honest but like everywhere in the hamptons this time of the year and in montauk is so expensive it's like peak season so i expect it we only went for one night on the saturday we got the train on saturday morning then we had all day saturday Saturday night and all day Sunday we didn't get back until kind of late yesterday evening so it was a lovely lovely trip I'm back in the city today um kind of dressed up I have shorts on with this like really baggy Ralph Lauren shirt that I got probably a few months back I actually went to one of their events and they let us pick out a shirt and we we're able to customize it so it says EF here in kind of embroidery which is kind of cool and um, the quality feels so so nice it's a bit masculine which I kind of like like it's quite baggy I have it on with just short denim shorts I'll show you on the mirror before we head out just been wearing kind of summery dresses all weekend so I felt like putting on something a little bit more I don't know me <laughs> I feel like in the winter my style is so classic and like a little bit masculine like shirts and blazers and stuff but then come summertime it's just dresses all the time because it's obviously so hot in the city but today is like not as crazy hot so I figured I'd put this on and um, Kel and I are gonna go shoot I'm probably gonna make this a day vlog so just while we get up to today um Kel's in the office we're gonna go now and shoot and I think she's going to the Bryan Park movie they have like an outdoor movie later this evening so if i get everything done i might go as well and i'll bring you there it's so cool i've never actually gone into the lawn and sat down and watched the movie i've only ever seen it from the outside so if i have time later i'll bring you to that with me and just show you what we get up to for the day really i haven't done a day vlog in a while so i'm not sure how long it'll be it could be long it could be short well i've already been talking for six minutes <laughs> what oh my god when i start talking i can't shut up but let me just show you my outfit for today and then we're gonna head out and shoot this look and I'm shooting something for my favorites clues okay so this is the look very very simple um, I'm wearing my usual Miss Oma London chain the shirt is Ralph Lauren as I said really just baggy and oversized and I have my Topshop regular denim shorts on ideally I wanted to wear white shorts but I actually don't have any believe it or not that suit this so I went with denim instead and I just have my usual Zara shoes which I'm sure you're all sick of seeing and my Clouse Lager Cohn or Lager Son I still don't know how to pronounce it um that's still a watch which I have in lots of different colors I love it so that's me today we're in New York for the rest of July and then I think I've mentioned it before but we're heading back to Ireland for the whole month of August um so we actually only have like three more weeks left here and then we're going to be home in Ireland for all of August that's really exciting I actually can't wait now and um, we always go home during the summer because it just gets very hot here and I like to do events back in Ireland during the summer and just kind of like split the time and then we'll be back home at Christmas again so it kind of breaks up the year away and obviously we get to see our parents <laughs> and Vogue and everyone and all my friends so that should be fun but we have three weeks left here so expect lots of videos I was slacking last week and I didn't have any videos it was kind of one of those weeks that I just 
I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it <laughs> video wise. I did blog posts and we did like Instagrams and stuff, but I don't know, I just wasn't feeling the video, but I'm back today. Whenever I feel like that, I just take a break because there's no point forcing it. But back today now and hopefully I'm gonna get a lot of videos for you up over the next few weeks and then it'll be on to the Irish ones. Okay, so let me grab Kaylin and then we're gonna go out and shoot. I'll bring you with me. And then when I come back, I wanna show you something new that I got from my bedroom, interiors wise. I think you're gonna like it and I have it already. It's here to the left of me, you probably can guess. Um, sneak peek. <laughs> I'll show you that when I get back. I'm not laughing. When you stay at your boyfriend's house and you bring no clothes. Hey, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are buying some flowers for a shoot because that's what these yeah. vloggers do, you know. <laughs> I actually want them for my apartment the color will I get. Just joking, they make for a good piece. Oh, how about these ones? They're kind of pinky. Yeah. Fail. Not ideal. Okay, we got the props. We're just shooting on the Upper East Side, the usual. Um, we did some. Today now. I feel like Kaylin's way more, like she's way better at knowing how to take cool photos. Like I feel like mine are really boring. <laughs> You're like Kim Kardashian, but she's like I think I need her. I'm the older, boring sister, like literally. Um, no, you're better at like, because I feel like you were on Instagram looking for them. I'm not. Why are you walking away from me? What do you want? <laughs> so yeah, Kaylin's tell me what to do today. She's good at knowing props and stuff. Oh, I'm actually listening, yeah. But we're gonna try and, we did some halves for clues. And now we're gonna try and get some full lengths of the full outfit, just to have for the bank. It's good to take photos when I actually look somewhere decent. <laughs> Cause I don't every day. Um, okay, we might just shoot all these Upper East Side houses. They're so nice. We're just on 75th Street. townhouse I mean look at that wow few hours later and as promised it is time to show you the newest addition to my apartment um so long story short, remember I used to have the Ikea, what's it called? I should know this, the MAM, the MAM dresser here. It was a plain white Ikea dresser. I actually owe that dresser a lot <laughs> because I did this like DIY um, kind of like gold foil paper along each drawer to make it look prettier. And that video is actually one of like, I think it's my most watched video ever on YouTube. And I think it's definitely how some of you who may even be watching this found my channel. <laughs> so I owe that dresser a lot, but Ikea, you know, you kind of pay for what you get. Like the drawers, it could be my own fault. I will say this because I had those drawers packed like fully fully packed and in the end the drawers were like breaking like the stuff I had in was too heavy so the drawers were like falling through and I put up with it for so long and Tommy tried to fix it and we tried to make it work but in the end we had to say goodbye to that dresser and so I got a new one so I do appreciate <laughs> that ma'am Ikea dresser but after what like I'd say a year and a half yeah I'd say a year and a half um it's time for a new one so this is my new one i'll show you kind of wish i had done this earlier so i could show you in the brightness but let me just try and show you to the best of my ability it is from a site called perry gold and it's kind of this like antique wash gold and like silvery dresser and although like i don't usually love well, I guess it's not silver. It's kind of like mirror deep, which obviously suits the mirror. Um, but I was worried that it would be a little bit, um, you know, too silver. And I don't actually love mixing silver and gold. But for some reason, this work for this space, I just thought it was like the best I could find. It's sturdier. And I think if I move um, out of this apartment, it's going to be one of these dressers that would go in a hallway or will just go somewhere. Um, it's definitely one I'll have for a while. And oh my God the drawers are <laughs> 
so much steadier. I am so happy. I think Tommy is too because I complained about the other one so, so much. So I have my makeup in this top drawer. They're not very, very deep. So like they're not the biggest kind of drawers ever. But in fairness, I actually fit everything in pretty well. Like I do have to kind of reach back i can't see everything very very clearly but it's new york and <laughs> when you live here you put up with things you probably wouldn't put up with anywhere else in the world but that's for another day um but anyway that's my makeup and these little kind of glass storage things are from the container store so that's in there and then in this drawer i have all my skincare my be perfect tan um just all those kind of bits basically it's a little bit messy because as you can see, it's not like very high, so some things can stand up, I have to lie them down. Again, not ideal, but honestly, I was just happy that they all fit in because the last drawers, the Ikea ones, were way bigger. Um, so I think I did a pretty good job and I cleared out lots of stuff. And then this is my jewelry drawer, which actually needs to be tidied a bit. And I must try and get maybe those sticky things. I think you can get them so that these will actually stay in one place, they won't like slide back. That's not bad, they all fit in pretty much okay. And then down here I just have my hair stuff and my underwear drawer, which you don't need to see. So that's the drawer section. And then I had this mirror already from Target. Do you see the mess in the bed? <laughs> Some of that stuff was up here, but I wanted to show it to you tidily how it should look. So yeah, that stuff is over here on the bed. But up here I just have my perfumes because again they don't fit into the drawer because they're too high up but they actually look really pretty and these are just some pieces of jewellery I was wearing today. And then the mirror is from Target. I got that um probably like six months ago. It's such a good one. I love it and it actually matches the dresser so perfectly. Like even the gold and I don't know if you can be able to see now but these gold lamps also match this gold so perfectly so it's like a set like it's like a set that wasn't a set but i've made it a set if that makes any sense so when i move um or if i move or whatever i'll have like all the pieces and they tie in really well together and then i did put my lip glasses and my liners up here because they were too tall just in a little like old dip tea candle holder great trick by the way these are so good for for storage because they look really pretty just a fake um mini plant and these are Tommy sunglasses so that's the new dresser i hope you like it let me know if you like it i'll put a link below in case any of you are also looking for a new dresser i think it's actually not meant to be a bedroom dresser i think it's more like for a hall or something but again i was working with a pretty tight space so it actually just worked out perfect for me so i'll link that below um in case you want to have Good a morning. look i didn't end up vlogging anymore last night so i'm gonna vlog a little bit of today as well and just add it into this one i'm off to a quick meeting this morning i'm just in my denim skirt from revolve and this zara top that i got in the zara sale that was in the last video that i put up so you might recognize it i've actually been wearing it so much um i've been wearing it lots of different ways with like white and different colors but it's nice with denim as well just for kind of a casual quick outfit i'm literally just going up the street and then i have my prada bag for a change today as well i'm going to just bring these sunnies lots of people ask about these and i got them in like a random store in austin texas when i was there like two years ago um they're such good ones. I think they're wearing like $10 and like, I don't know, the other way some glasses, they don't actually protect you from the sun, like you're still squinting. These ones were so cheap and they're actually so good. But that's the update. Kellen's here. Good morning, Kellen. Good morning. Our messy-ish desk, although it's actually not too bad this morning. Um, we have some messy things down here. I was just doing some photo editing this morning to send over to a brand um, for an Instagram thing I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm nearly finished that, so I gotta come back afterwards and finish that, and then I'll be editing this video because this is going live today. Quick turnaround, <laughs> as always. But I'll head to the meeting now, and then I, when I come back, actually, I wanna show you some beauty bits. Um, there's two beauty things that I have been loving, and just when I was doing like really quick 10 minute makeup this morning, I used the two of them, and I definitely wanna to talk to you about them because they've because they've been making my summer makeup routine so, so much easier. So I'll check in again when I get back. And back again, back in my super. <laughs> Lots of work to do, but before I finish this vlog, I wanna show you the products I was talking about earlier. And here they are, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, I'll try and just put my camera and just hold my camera over here. Try and put on the pillow here. Does that work? 
Okay, that'll do. <laughs> okay, so the first one is Gimme Brow. Um, ignore my brows today, they are not the best. I'm actually scheduled to get them done tomorrow. What day is today? Tuesday? Yeah, tomorrow. Um, they need to be dyed and waxed. Um, but this is a brow product that I've been using over the last few weeks, and oh my god, I don't know how I survive without it. So basically, I use a pencil to fill in my brows. Like when they're tinted, they're much easier, but like I still use a pencil just to kind of give them a little bit of a shape. I use MAC Redhead. I love that, it's so good. I've also been using a NYX one recently, which is really good and really inexpensive but then I come in with Gimme Brow and it's like this tiny tiny brush and it has color on it so you literally just like brush up your brows please ignore my brows oh my god I should have picked a better day to do this um but basically it just like gives that bushy look it's kind of like the boy brow I'm pretty sure from Glossier which is such a popular um product but this is the one I'm loving Gimme Brow from Benefit not sponsored just products that I'm loving and then this is another one. Oh, I got it a little bit dirty. But this is from Lauren Mercier. They sent this to me last week and I said I'd give it a go over the weekend and oh my god, I absolutely loved it. I have a little bit on today, but basically it's just like um like a cream eyeshadow, but just such an easy one to use. You just pop a little bit on your eyelid, either rub it in with your finger or a brush, or just to add a little bit of like something to the inner um, corners. Such an easy one to use, and I'm absolutely loving it. And I'll definitely be honest, like I'm slow to try <laughs> new makeup products. I kind of tend to stick to the same ones all the time. So when I do try new ones and I really like them, I'm more than happy to share and I'm kind of excited to share too because it's kind of a big deal for me when I switch up my routine a little bit. <laughs> so I figured I'd share the two of them with you just to show you what I'm loving at the moment and I'll get some links for them and leave them down so below. that's it for this vlog. I'm going to leave it here. It was supposed to just be yesterday vlogging but I figured I'd pop a little bit more in this morning seeing as I kind of just forgot to vlog last night. Tommy came home and we made dinner and we literally did nothing. I went to sleep so so early so there was nothing exciting to show and I had spaghetti for dinner which is also not very exciting but anyway I'll leave this vlog here I hope you enjoy it's great to be back in the swing of it again sometimes when you kind of get out of it even for a week it can be kind of tricky to get back in front of the camera um, but as soon as I do I'm like oh why did I take a break I should have just kept going I'm definitely on a better roll this week so keep an eye out for more videos so that's all for today hope you enjoyed thanks as always for watching and I will see you in the next one bye